the first thing we want to do is go up to file and click on that. Now go down to add account. Type in your name, your email address, and then the password for your email. And click on Next. Now the first thing it's going to do is try to search to see if it can configure it automatically. In some cases, this might be your last step. But in the case of this one, it won't automatically configure. So we'll give it a few moments while it works on that. Allow this website to configure your email server settings basically. Allow that. You may not necessarily get that in your setup, but in ours it did pop up. An encrypted connection to your mail server is not available. Click next to attempt to using an unencrypted connection. If you get this error, just go ahead and click on next. Don't worry, everything's still okay. This just means we're probably going to have to do a manual configuration, which is what we plan to show you today. And now you're going to get the, we're sorry, we couldn't set up your account automatically. Try setting up your account yourself. Click Next. So at this point, go ahead and do just that. Click Next. Now click on Pop or IMAP. And click Next. Some of this will be filled out for you, but certain things like your incoming mail server will need to be updated because most likely it did not get it correct the first time. So at this point, Go ahead and update your incoming mail server and outgoing mail server. Go ahead and click on more settings and then outgoing server check mark my outgoing server SMTP requires authentication and use same settings as my incoming mail server this will work for most mail servers select SSL on both of the drop downs where it mentions encrypted connection your incoming port should set to 993 or 995 if pop and outgoing server should be 465 and go ahead and click OK and click Next it'll now attempt to send a test message when you get a green check mark next to send text message you're completed and you're completed so go ahead and click on the close button and click finish now if you already have an email box configured you'll notice a additional email box being added there which will show your inbox and any mail that you may have had on that email and that's it that's all there is to it